Welcome back to Obermatt Stock Investing in Europe. This week on December 11, we'll have the climate protection leaders in Northern Europe and Canada. This is the stock list I'm going to look at. I'm going to go all the way down to the combined ranking, which is based on ET index climate protection information. I see a lot of industrial machinery companies, uh, engineering, pharmaceuticals as well, but mainly, mainly uh, machine technology. Most of these companies are in Europe, actually, Sweden, Finland, uh, Norway. Um, uh, there's actually nothing in Canada right now. Uh, I'm not a specialist in machine industry, in the machine industry, so I, I have not heard of most of these names. The only thing I, I know, of course, is Nokia, uh, Nokia, uh, which is something we can have, have a look at. Uh, this is Nokia here in front of us. It's, of course, a kind of protection stocks. It's in sound incentives. Um, that's all good. Um, it had a very difficult time, as you can see in the past. Um, now the ranks are all good, especially the value ranks are good. Um, uh, all the value metrics are good. Um, in terms of growth, they're recovering. They're actually having revenue growth again. They're moving up. And in terms of safety, they're pretty safely financed right now. No wonder uh, after what uh, they have all sold to other companies. Um, do I want Nokia? Let's have a look what they do these days because they're not really strong anymore in um, the mobile area. And what I've seen is they're making a very special camera for uh, virtual reality. I think that's really interesting, but uh, for the time being, this is too specialized for me. So I went back to the list and looked at all the machine companies and the one I found was uh, Atlas Copco, uh, a company that I actually have already heard of, even though I'm not a specialized specialist in this area. So I wanted to know um, what Atlas Copco is all about. We have here very good historic ranks in all areas. It's a really good performing company. Uh, not so much capital for the price you pay, but everything else is good. Profits, revenues are good for the price you pay, a good dividend yield. It's a lot of, lot of green, except leverage maybe, but then liquidity is good to pay off the debt, so I'm not so worried about that. Let's have a look at the Copco website, uh, Atlas Copco website. What I see, facts in brief, when I go uh, to um, uh, the group summary, I see it's a very large company. Uh, in many, many markets, uh, they had a very good return in the past. Now, that's not really a good indication for the future. You never know what the future will bring. What I like, they have uh, uh, achieved uh, a good ranking uh, of 23 in the Global 100 Sustainability Index. That's already something good. They invest a lot of R&T, uh, 30% in 2014. That's a good sign for me. And they have a revenue growth target, also something I like. I wanted to know a little bit more what they actually do. Um, they say sustainable productivity solutions, innovative compressors, vac uh, compressors, vacuum solutions, and treatment systems. All doesn't say much. I had to dig deeper. I went to look what they actually do. Um, found that they're investing a lot in innovation, which is nice. I guess most people do that. And then finally, I found a split of the revenue by area, and it looks like compressor technique, what they called, has the biggest revenue share. Now, to me, that sounds a lot like oil industry, so I wanted to go a little bit deeper. I found compressor techniques on the website, and it is actually air and gas, gas treatment, air management system, and vacuum solution. So it seems more than just oil and gas. And I had to look deeper, and I went to the download the annual report right here, and it really is true. Um, it's a wide spectrum of applications. Uh, there's a lot of uh, industrial clients as well, uh, not just oil and gas. Of course, there's oil and gas as well. So I feel comfortable about that. I feel comfortable investing here. Uh, I go to. I did go to my website to my. Um, uh, nope, I don't want to do that to my uh, dashboard of my eBank, and it all looks new. Um, it all looks new, they upgraded the system, very nice, it's now in English, so you can read what I'm doing if you just uh, understand English. I see that my account and portfolio is now uh, above 100,000, uh, you remember we invested twice 50,000, so it's nice, we have a little bit 
uh, of profit here by the end of the year. A nice Christmas present. I hope it stays. I have to see now um, where I can invest. Yeah, trading, buy. Yes, that's it. And let's see how that works now. We have um, here the title, Atlas Co. And I want to search in, oh yeah, oh, that's not that easy anymore as it used to be in shares. And I search, I see if, if that comes up. Yes, it does. At Atlas Co. Co. Shares. Um, this is probably some, that what I need. I um, want to have a best at market offer of buying these shares. I don't know how many, how this, how this actually costs. So I have to calculate quickly uh, with Google in Swiss francs, see what, what this is in Swiss francs. It's 2674 if I want to invest 5,000. Uh, how many shares do I need? 180 shares. So what I'm doing here is I put in 180, I say I, say I buy, I have to confirm I'm buying Atlas Copco A shares, those with that had such a good refer, uh, return, uh, 180 units, and that was it. Your stock market order was received. Well, I don't need that. It doesn't say exit. I wonder what I should do. I say new order. I go back to the dashboard. Uh, that's it. Um, over the next couple of minutes, I guess I'm going to get these shares. That was it for today. Um, uh, it was nice having you with us and I wish you all the best with your own investments.